health. Thank you. Jeez. Um. Let's see. Air doctrines. Air doctrine. Uh, 34. Okay. So we'll definitely do some air doctrine research. I should have done that a long time ago, but apparently I, I snipped my mind. So Ernst du Det. Det. I think that's it. And then you just research it. Research the Battlefield Destruction Doctrine. And then um, how will happen? Research. Plus 10 in the research. Hell yeah. Definitely take that. The Brewer. The area of the industrial of the Brewer. Of the name. The uh, affluent of the Rhine. In the plain of the Westphalia. It represents the greatest industrial contribution. Uh, Conurbation. As I should you know, folks, it says conurbation. Z O N U R B A T I O N. Conurbation. Figure that one out. <laughs> oh, the world in 1935 with the rearmament, its factories, its coal mines, and its iron mines turned again to full, accounting for approximately, approximately, approximately 40%. <laughs> of the German potential of war. But this area is strongly exposed to the air raids or air or an invasion starting from Belgium. Yeah. I know, there's a lot of mispronunciations here. Even my own. Okay. Uh, let's go back here. Okay. So the first round will be done in September of 36. And it won't be fully done. Oh, never mind. It'll be done on March, uh, March 7th. It'll be fully done in, Mar in September 6th. So that's some... Actually, that's pretty good. If you think about it. Okay, so I get an industrial efficiency boost by 1%. Which is the way I like it. Come on. Let me see that new year. Alright. You can see how Italy is just... Doing something. I don't know. Italy is just weird. The AI period is weird. And this is all they need right here is for the um, to annex Ethiopia. Is that this? Uh, Abba? It is Abba. I think that's it. I don't know. Sue me, folks. <laughs> but anyway. Alright, folks. We're at January 1st, 1936. We started. This is the official start date for um, any Hearts of Iron 2 game. So we are officially at. We officially start Hearts of Iron 2. And I guess that should be a thank God for a lot of, of you guys. Because you're like, oh shit, finally! 1933 to 1936, god damn man, you guys are boring! Okay, anyway. Um, so. Nothing really much. Nothing too much really happened. Nothing really big. I don't know if that's really showing. I guess, I guess I'll still upload it. Um, it'd be a couple of videos, of course, like always. Uh, at least I got out of debt. At least my money's going up, so that's always a good thing. And I got some uh, units being produced. I'm sure you guys are excited about that. Oh, what the hell was that? Decrease intelligence funding dec or increase? That's kind of cool. I've never seen that before. That's new. Alright, let's increase it. Anyway, <laughs> alright, uh. Actually, let's try to put some other things out in this one. Let's see if they add anything. Oh, it's still the same. Still same crap. But that's new. I've never seen that before. Huh. Alright, folks, um. Uh, yeah, uh. Turkey is rearming themselves. That should be kind of interesting. See if they have any clams. You guys have any foreign clams? Nope. Okay. And you can see the, the kind of the alliance being shown, the Balkan alliance, um, kind of keeping Bulgaria in check. That's pretty much what. It, that's pretty much what it is between uh, Turkey, Greece, uh, Romania, and Yugoslavia. I think Czechoslovakia was in that alliance too. But uh, all right. So getting off check. Yeah, that's pretty much it. 1936. We'll stop here. Um, see you guys later. You guys enjoy. Which I probably, probably guys won't. I don't know. Um, for Europa 3, um, before I sign off officially, for the last time after saying this, um, I'll continue that. I'll continue expanding. 
in that game with the Byzantines into Mexico. I'm sure you guys are just like, holy crap, you guys are expanding to Mexico. Alright, let's get out of this real quick. I'll show you. Uh, give you like kind of a rough edge. Okay, so here is kind of like uh, kind of Spanish control, Castile control, and then Byzantine. What I have is pretty much like right here, down this area. So. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what it looks like. That's what it would look like in the uh, Hearts of Iron 2. And I probably trans and I probably probably uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with Europa 3. I think I'm probably trying to transfer it to the to the Victoria Revolutions. I probably will do that and see what it looks like. <laughs> so other than that, folks, I will finally sign off. Uh, see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy.